Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Teasing Master Takai San season 3 episode number 4 reaction. Alright, the previous episode, um, it was broken up again into a few more parts. The first part we had Takagi, uh, not Takagi, sorry, Nishikata using a fan to show how, like, you know, uh, it's like, you know, he, he's having it so cool while it's hot in you know, the outside. And Takagi, like, you know, played a little game with him and tricked him into <laughs> fanning her. And that was fun, you know, like, uh, by the end of it, like, you know, she does come kind of, like, you know, close to him and she's like, okay, now fan, like, you know, we both of us get to get enough air and <laughs> that was smooth. <laughs> and yeah, that was, that was f funny. And okay, the next, uh, the next one, the next part is where uh, Nishikata was like, you know, like watching some, not watching, but reading some manga, some baseball manga and like, you know, uh, like acting out. The, the stuff just like we used to do when we were kids i'm sure a lot of people used to do that because i did so yeah <laughs> so okay um and as always takagi is like you know like uh try to like play a little game with him um uh, by the end and uh yeah like uh, takagi won and takagi and uh, nishikata was like all right like please keep quiet about this all that and it, it was another like you know fun little section and the next part we have the girls the three girls that we occasionally see uh, where they try to uh, save a cat but the cat was just chilling in the middle of the uh in, in the gap between two like, you know like houses and <laughs> that was like a really random like you know thing and uh, yeah and then the final part uh takagi and nishikata that's where like i think like the character development kind of goes a little better where uh takagi actually not takagi but nishikata goes back uh you know goes back home to watch the anime or whatever he has like a collaboration anime is going to happen and he thinks about like you know he, he borrows an umbrella goes back and in the middle of it he comes back because he realizes that takagi might have not brought the umbrella just like before and uh yeah like and Tagi was there and they kind of come back together you know like with with one under one umbrella so that was like a nice like you know little progression i guess usually like you know in uh, at least in Tagi, like you know like progressions come very rarely and usually it's like you know them kind of like you know hanging around and having fun but i feel like the last part really kind of like you know progressed a little bit of their relationship so yeah anyways let's see what ha uh, happens this episode this is episode number four of teasing master tahi san season three so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go All right, let's see. Whew. I can see there's quite a few characters in this this shot, you know, the, the middle, the shot that we saw. Um, those are, I'm, I'm guessing those are all those, uh, you know, minor characters. I don't even remember the minor characters we saw in season one or two. There were a few of them and I don't remember them at all. Because obviously, like, you know, like Takagi and uh, Nishikata are like the main focus. So usually you, like, in, especially in these type of shows, Usually you forget about the side characters or the minor characters because the main characters are so much, you know, in focus that you don't basically remember. What? Oh, they're clothing. Uniform change. Oh yeah, this is another nostalgic thing. I'll talk about it later.
<laughs> well, she's giving you the wins, but yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. True, that's... Okay, he's kind of... What? <laughs> okay. The window is open. There you go. That, that girl also doesn't is not. I think no one is wearing. Uh, one or two people. <laughs> well, you lost. Oh, okay. Wait, I misunderstood it. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Samu. Samu means okay. It means cold. Samu is okay. Um, a lot. <laughs> a lot went out because of you know like translation but it was like a wordplay oh my god <laughs> it's basically wordplay okay nice i'm sure she caught on to that <laughs> um, oh my god Well, obviously. <laughs> okay, what word? Rule change? Oh my god. Yeah, he can tell it, but she cannot. Well, she can just say that yes or no. <laughs> oh my god wow <laughs> why oh great <laughs> she's asking him a, a reverse question wow way to get out of a answering a question <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. What happened? What? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I realized what it is. Yeah, the, the uniform, okay. Two later winter uniforms. Oh, not delivered. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, you should check. <laughs> what? True? <laughs> uh. 
Um... <laughs> okay, now it's gonna get cold. Oh my god, there you go. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Can I please put down... Yeah... No, you cannot. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, did she bring did he bring something good? Oh no, he's gone. Food poisoning? What? He's faking sick, okay. Wow, no one's here. But Takagi is here. I doubt he'll ask. Yeah. But I'm sure she'll follow him eventually. So yeah, there you go. I'm sure she's going to follow him here. Okay. Oh no. Oh, I thought someone else is going to. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. But there you go. Target is here. <laughs> oh boy, well... <laughs> okay, what did she bring? Um... All right, here we go. Yeah, what did she bring? What are those? Crispy lotus root. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's guess. Usually it's plum, but maybe it's salmon. Or <laughs> I think there's like a little thing that peeking out. I, I saw that. There's like a different color. I think he saw that. Okay, Salmon. There you go. There, I think it, it's kind of peeking out. There you go. But I think it's probably wrong. It's something else. Okay. Okay. Plum. Oh. Oh wait, the, the, I think the other one is salmon and this one is plum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good play. She basically, oh my god. There was two answers. There you go. Oh, all right. She's going to feel, oh my God. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. Maybe not, I think she, she I think he's playing her, him. It's, it's probably some... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well... <laughs> oh 
she basically sees how nishikata reacts and then acts accordingly that's what she does <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay <laughs> Oh boy. Nah, that's not a UFO. <laughs> what the? <laughs> it looks like a bug. It looks. What? You got abducted? Oh, never mind. I thought the UFO abducted him or something. <laughs> there you go <clears throat> yeah oh she's so oh, bad wow the dedication the dedication to <laughs> just show off to your friends I understand that <laughs> oh my god What the? That's a stone. That won't work. Yeah. What? All right. Yeah, she can throw it and I doubt a rock can look like a UFO, but I guess. Yes, yeah, just a rock. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I hope that it doesn't break any windows or anything. My God. <laughs> She's like, wow, no hesitation. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's... Not really, okay. That's interesting. <laughs> no more f needs to be more faster <laughs> didn't okay <laughs> True. Oh my God! It's uh, what was what was her name? Um, I'm forgetting her name. God damn! I forgot her name. Lum, Lum, yeah, Lum. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. That does look... I don't know. Maybe. Wait, what? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> um... Ah... Uh. Um... Well... We don't know what that was. That will be a forever mystery. Mame bathhouse. 
Mame. That's a weird. Mame means beans, isn't it? Or maybe it's like a last name or something. What? Oh, Parole uh, said that she's going to come. Oh, he thought that she's going to come. Okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Oh my god, I think she's like waiting outside or something. Okay, there you go. Oh, uh, wow. Damn, it's like no one's outside at night. <laughs> oh boy. What now? Wait. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're going to lose very badly at this because, oh my god, true. <laughs> oh my god, there we go. <laughs> okay. He chose the worst game that he could ever cho have cho chosen. He's w <laughs> yeah, excuses. Excuses. Run. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Oh, I think she's probably going to. Yeah. <laughs> um, we well, you got got her off guard, you know. <laughs> I think he probably won that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. S symbolism, you know. <laughs> oh, 
No, you're 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 standing in underneath the light. Obviously, she can see you. Wait, is this like a different song? Yeah. Wait, does the song change every episode or something? I'm I'm pretty sure this is a different song. All right. Well, I guess he won again this time. Um, I think I remember like in, in one of the other seasons, he was also able to kind of win one of the games, which he was himself was unaware of. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the ending ending is different. All right, that's the end. Yep. Okay, this uh, episode. This is the fourth episode. We start with the whole um winter uh, you know uniform thing. Now. <coughs> <clears throat> this is another thing that I kind of remember from like you know my school days as well like there was this thing like uh, of changing I I I still can remember we used to do it on our own like whenever you, we used to feel cold we used to change it I, I don't think there was like a specific day where people started or something it was yeah it was like when obviously like you know people people have different uh uh tolerability of uh cold uh, you know like how how the, some people feel more cold and some people feel less cold so yeah we used to do it on our own whatever the time like, you know whenever we, we wanted to and it was kind of interesting to see you know like who started to wear the like i don't know like it's like a weird thing <laughs> like you know who, who like it's interesting to like you know like see who started wearing the winter uniforms quicker and who didn't and who wore it the last or something i do remember there there were like you know uh, there were children there were kids in my class who didn't even used to wear the winter uniform like they they had such i guess you know like um high metabolism or whatever like they never felt cold like, you know the whole winter season used to go away and then never never wore the winter uniform like damn like that's something <laughs> Oh boy, I do remember. Anyways, um, yeah, this kind of reminded me of that. Okay, so the winter uniforms. Mm, so here, okay. All right, so here, uh, Taka, uh, sorry, uh, Nishikata comes in with the uniform, and <laughs> and he he says that we are going to like, you know play a game. Now this part I kind of got confused. Um, just say, let me just check this part out again. Like I, f I, I kind of missed this part. Um, Tayo says actually cold weather doesn't bother me. You're just acting tough. Okay. Um, if you say cold at all today, then I win. Okay. Um, can you extend that to include me just agreeing that it's cold? Oh, that's what he says. She, she says. Also, wait a minute. So she basically made it easier for her, him. Or okay, anyways. So yeah, <laughs> and here Nishikata does something with wordplay. Now this obviously this is like, you know, going to get lost in translation. Like you know, like it's um like english and japanese like you know there's a like you know the difference in what play what play so it it really did not translate well enough here but as far as i could understand okay the quiz that nishikata tells here is here you go ben is older than bob uh but he's younger 
then hang no that's not what uh, i think the japanese okay just a sec uh, in the in the translation uh, you know like in the subtitle it's written ben is older than bob but he's younger than hank i'm i'm, I'm thinking they kind of did that to like you know make more sense but that's not what he says he says he says that Ben, ben in, in, in the Japanese, like, you know, as far as I could get, understand, he says that Ben is faster than Bob. Ashi wa hayaku. Faster than Bob. But uh, slower than, not Hank, but Samu. The other, the, the one who's called Hank here, his, act, his, his name is Samu. So basically, Osoi. Osoi is slow, so he's slower than uh, Samu. So <laughs> the wordplay here is actually uh, okay. And then he says, out of the three of them, who's the youngest? Obviously, that's not what he says. What he says is, or maybe not. Oh no 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 no! I'm I'm wrong. Sorry. Uh, it's not about faster yet. Anyways, but he's kind of saying it like that. I think he's, 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 he is talking about uh, age, I think. Um, but I, I feel like, oh, anyways, this, this is a little bit difficult. Like, you know, it's like a, like a little wordplay. I myself am unable to understand it properly. But what he's saying, what he tried to do here is interesting. Okay, he says. Samu Ichi. He wanted Tahagi to say that. And Samui means cold. So Samu Ichi Samui. That's what he wanted Tahagi to say. And <laughs> Tahagi did not say that. Like he wanted Ta Tahagi to say Samu Ichi. Which would mean Samu Ichi. And Samui means cold. And that's why you know Tahagi would say cold. And he would win the game. And then he kind of reminiscences about that day, and I, I think it's probably in one of the previous episodes where Nishikata kind of uh, Tahagi kind of tricked him like that. But Tahagi obviously, like you know, realized what he's trying to do, and he's and she says, "Samu ne ichiban," <laughs> which obviously she did not say Samu ichi, but something else. And yeah, that's how she kind of, you know, went around that thing. And wow, <laughs> I love the love the way she he tried to do the word to play, but it was so apparent the word to play, you know, that everyone will be able to understand that. Um, like, you know, like people who know Japanese, like it was so apparent and he was he was like, oh, I'm going to trick Takagi. But nah, man, Takagi is too smart. I guess for kids, like, you know, Tahagi is a bit too smart, in my opinion. Yeah, like, I guess, like, I, I don't even know how old they are. They're probably, like, 10 or 11 or something. Um, I guess at that age, maybe this, like, you know, this type of wordplay games are a bit difficult for them to understand, you know? Uh, but this is Tahagi, yeah, so, yeah, obviously, she would be able to understand that. Like, she's, she's like, you know, she's, she, she's smart. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, and... Oh my god. And then uh, he, she still, he still tries to do that. Uh, like, you know, he still tries to kind of, uh, like, you know, make Tahagi say that it's cold, you know, and Tahagi then kind of, like, you know, kind of turns that around and she's like, <laughs> so will you warm me up? My god. And yeah, like, obviously that makes him kind of back away because he cannot handle that. <laughs> He's too shy. All right, that was that. That was like a fun little portion with the little wordplay going on, you know. As I said, like you know, the um, <clears throat> the, the a lot of like you know things kind of got lost in translation. But that's basically what he tried to do. He tried to try to make Takagi say something which meant something else. It's like a double meaning thing, you know, like like you know the wordplay. So, <laughs> but unfortunately, it was so apparent that Takagi obviously realized what was going on. But yeah, anyways, and then, then the next part we see, like, you know, with the girls, where one of the girls was supposed to send the message that, yeah, we are, we, we are going to wear winter clothing. 
but it did not go the message did not go <laughs> and that's why like you know the other girl was mad she's like uh, and uh, she's like why did like you know like he should have double checked and the other girl tried to like you know like fold his uh, fold her um, sleeves and unfortunately like obviously in, in the morning it's hot and when it kind of gets into the evening and it, it kind of becomes chilly especially in winter so yeah mission failed <laughs> okay the next part again with takagi and nishikata we see how nishikata wants to eat lunch with his friends fortunately all her all his friends are not here one is like you know like skipping school because of something some game is coming out another one is sick and this and that and he's like all alone goes like i don't like you know um i guess like i i don't know like i i, I kind of feel weird like you know like him actually kind of going outside and like you know like going in a place with like there's no one and just eating lunch on his own it kind of feels a little lonely yeah obviously like why well, he could have just you know gone outside like you know maybe in the um, you know, like in the open air he could have just sat somewhere and eaten not like in the middle of a staircase i guess but i guess that's just him you know like a lot of people i guess like you know in anime i see them like you know eating on a staircase sitting on a staircase where no one goes like you know like all alone but yeah i guess that's just him <laughs> anyways um okay so yeah here <clears throat> now obviously tahi realizes that tahi comes and um <laughs> she sits down starts eating with him and here again as always nishikata is always trying to one up takagi so he's like oh let's play a game um i'm going to uh, <laughs> guess what uh, you know like what your um the thing what what's the feeling in the in the in the onigiri and you know if if uh, takagi wins takagi is going to get his chicken and that otherwise he's going to get the lotus fruit all that um no oh, sorry uh, takagi told that yeah, Takagi gave him the the proposition, but he said that he's going to do a contest, I think. Yeah, anyways, um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah, um, now here's the thing. Um, he he was able to see one of it, and but he did not realize this, that there's two onigiris, and it the other onigiri might have something else. So usually as far as I knew that you know onigiri is like the, the most common fillings are either plum or salmon as they said and I think there's like other fillings as well which I don't know about but these are like the most common fillings uh, which I kind of saw in the different animes so <coughs> as always he sees like you know he sees one of the little like you know thing peeking out and he was like oh it's salmon that's the color but obviously Tahagi is too smart she she picks the one with the plum and then nishikata realizes that ah there's two of them <laughs> and obviously it's nice like you know after that tahi kind of um did not take it all for herself but also like you know gave him the the lotus root and here again she tries to like this is one interesting thing that tahi usually does she like she doesn't have any like you know pre-made plans she doesn't have any she basically kind of observes what Nishikata does and according to his reactions she kind of changes whatever she does so like I'm sure she she realized that Ta Nishikata thought that she's going to feed him and that would be like the penalty game so she she acts that out but in the in the end like you know she kind of doesn't do that which which kind of like you know is like a little teasing that she did to him which which is interesting like you know this is like she always like you know observes and kind of does thing accordingly <laughs> which for uh, i guess like you know little, like you know for little kids it's pretty difficult to do stuff like that you know like <laughs> like she's I, i'm saying she's 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 too in, too intelligent like what the hell like i don't think any kid could like you know like observe and do stuff like this maybe very intelligent kids like i don't know i, I was not intelligent so yeah <laughs> at least i wouldn't be able to do stuff like this at, at that age so yeah like she, she's, she's intelligent my god like you know like the way she observes people and like you know does thing accordingly like damn <laughs> oh boy that was interesting okay that was that and then the final part with the ufos mm, where 
Oh my god, that 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 kid. She <laughs> he was like throwing like you know a light source or something and like you know taking photographs and was like, "Oh, I've I've seen a UFO. Here's here's like a picture." Like <laughs> like damn, like the dedication. I guess like you know to to kind of show off in front of your friends like you you, you need to do these kind of things <laughs> oh boy but yeah obviously like you, you need to be careful that no one's actually watching you you know like if someone's watching you oh, everything's over like you know your your lie will be out like you know <laughs> your lie will be out again will come everyone will get to know that so he made a mistake there he did not realize that someone was actually watching him doing all of that so yeah unfortunate <laughs> okay and uh, uh then okay and then like you know nishikata goes out nishikata's like okay i'm going to like you know do the same thing with the rock and i don't know why he thought that a rock was a good idea because i don't think a rock would work there but i guess you know he kind of tried mm, and okay here's like one of the biggest references here is from uh, the girl if you guys did not realize that mm, the girl that was shown uh, it's from Urusai, Urusai Yatsura, isn't it? It's a very old anime. I've not seen it, but I know. You know, I think it, it was like in the 90s or something. The anime came out. Uh, it's a long anime. You know, I think it's like more than 100 episodes or something. It's called Urusai Yatsura. And as far as I know, it's like a story about like an uh, alien girl coming to Earth. And I don't know, it's something like that. And the, the, the girl's name is Lam, as far as I remember. Like that was like that reference, which is kind of interesting because like that's a very old reference to like you know to be making in like you know in twenty twenty two like uh it's like an obvious but it, but Yusai Yasura is still very popular. I've seen a lot of people talking about it still, and it was very popular in back in its days as well. So yeah, I guess yeah, but it's it's like and it's interesting to see like a Yusai Yasura reference <laughs> suddenly like that. And yeah, that's why, you know, because it was involved with UFOs, they did that reference. But anyways, and then there was like in the end, like he does kind of get a picture and <laughs> Takagi actually sees a UFO. And I don't, we don't know what that was actually. It's an eternal mystery. Was that an UFO or was that something else? Maybe it was like a remote controlled, I don't know, like a toy or something. <laughs> Someone was doing that. <laughs> or maybe it's an UFO, you know, who knows? Like, yeah, it's like, for me, like, I, I kind of, like, you know, like, like th there's this question that kind of Takagi asked here, which is a question I, I've heard a lot of people kind of asking, like, do you believe in aliens? Uh, for me, I would say that, I guess, like, the universe is immense, like, who knows what lives, are, like, you know, lives in the universe, like, we cannot just say that, no, it doesn't exist, unless and until something is not, like, you know what, there's a thing, you cannot prove that something doesn't exist. Like if you think about it, I think that's called like the, um, what is it called? I forgot. There's like a term for that, um, you know, where basically you cannot prove that something doesn't exist. You can prove that something exists, but you cannot prove that something doesn't exist. Like that's the thing. That's why, you know, whenever someone says that, do you do think you have exist? I don't think that you can say no, because you cannot prove something that you cannot say that yeah something doesn't exist you can't prove that it's impossible to prove that something doesn't exist so yeah basically that that that's always my answer like yeah maybe maybe there is a high chance of you know aliens actually being in here not here but being outside there somewhere but any anyways enough about aliens uh, the last part <laughs> Um, Takagi uh, and Nishikata goes to the bath, the communal bath, I think that's what it's called. And <laughs> Nishikata thought at the beginning thought that Takagi would be waiting for him, but obviously Takagi, you know, kind of went before because she kind of calculated. I don't know how she calculated when Nishikata is going to come and how she did that so, like you know, um, accurately. But she was able to do that. Like props to her, I guess. <laughs> I'm I'm saying she's she's too smart. She's too smart for her age. Like how was she able to calculate when Nishikata is going to come and like you know like I need a little bit more time in the bath so I'm going to get in the bath this amount of time earlier. Like how did she calculate that? Impressive. <laughs> but yeah, she was able to do that somehow. 
and she came out and she's like ah i knew that this was going to happen so i already pre-calculated all that stuff <laughs> and then they're going back and then again as always another game where uh you know like whenever whoever will make the other people other person blush you know that person is going to win the person who made the other person blush i think they kind of did this in one of the previous seasons as well like as far as i can remember and again um Nishikata actually won that time as well, but he was unaware of that. Same thing happened in this episode as well. He was unaware again, you know, that, that last line of like, you know, as he said that, should I walk you to your home? <laughs> and yeah, he won, but unfortunately he was unaware again because Nishikata was in the dark while he was in the light, underneath the light. But yeah, a win is a win, you know, and Nishikata does, uh, Tahi does hint, she says that, yeah the, the the bath actually is was kind of like you know is affecting me which means that yeah she was blushing <laughs> but yeah that's like you know like that's like a symbolism the way she kind of told that oh boy unfortunately nishikata was unable to catch that the inner meaning behind that but anyways you know <laughs> okay and yeah that's where it ends like another great episode you know and uh yeah like i i guess like i guess this is like the second time nishikata wins or something but yeah good for him i guess like in three seasons he was able to win two times <laughs> unfortunate but yes at least he won so yeah that was it that was my reaction to uh uh, 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 skill, uh, what was the name? Teasing Master Tagi san. I always like you know mix up the name with something else. Teasing Master Tagi san season uh, 3 episode number 4. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Teasing Master Tagi san season 3. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.